Okay, um, now here is a quick picture of a generator cup with all the functions. Um, I hope you can just pause it to figure out what's going on there. Um, going step by step, uh, I will try to point with something. Hopefully, yeah, it's good enough, but the light is kind of bad. So, uh, this one is the water into the generator. And this is the copper pipe I was talking about, which is collecting the level of the water and turns on the pump in order to get it filled from the external reservoir. And the second reference point is the bolt, which is holding the neutral plates of your generator. Um, this is the cup itself. Uh, this is the second uh, bolt, which is holding the positive wire coming either from the battery or the PVM doesn't matter. Uh, we need the neutral, the ground wire for keeping the signal on for the water level. Also there is another option um, if the temperature rises above 95 degree there is a second motor which will go to um, pump all the water from the generator into the reservoir and deliver a fresh water, cold water, so that way you don't have overheating problems. Here, as I mentioned, there is another sensor, hold it on a metal plate, which is thermal cutoff sensor, which kills the entire system if the temperature goes above 95 degree up to 100 let's say if the water is reaching the boiling point so this cuts off better on 95 degree here inside the tube don't forget to solder the bottom of the tube because the liquid is gonna go inside and damage the sensor um, there is a thermal sensor which could be analog sensor just a thermal resistor or digital sensor which is giving you um, digital signal for the electronics of HSD uh, which is uh, giving you the temperature of the um, generator itself because of the thermal conduction between the copper pipe here and you can have the temperature in the water in the res in the generator so you can adjust the pvm as i mentioned there are six steps for adjusting the pvm itself uh, versus the temperature which is into the generator following this is the loop of the bubbler i made a loop because always the bottom part is going to be under the water, doesn't matter what happened. There are no moving parts in this. Our previous bubblers did have a small cap which is shaking once the car is driving, so um, we decided to change the construction in this loop. And the hydrogen goes from the water into the pipe here. The pipe is um, above the level of the epoxy and bubbles through the water in order to get out of the cup and the HHO cup tube uh, which is fed to the motor of the car. Here you can see the water level. There is a wire from this copper pipe copper tube going out as I mentioned with triple insulation and there is a small screw on the bubbler 
with another wire going out which gives us a bubbler level water level so if there is lack of water into the bubbler that's gonna signal the driver to refill the bubbler itself and the last component that's a cup it's usually a rubber cup uh, it's uh, if there is explosion the rubber cup just is gonna pop up and nothing is gonna happen also we have another uh, prevention explosion prevention on the cup itself I'm gonna show you too where the water comes in but uh, here the picture is too tight to draw that cup too so um, there is another cup here onto the cup of the generator in order to fill the generator with water and at the meantime to prevent explosion the cup is just gonna pop up and that's all it's gonna happen it's tested in our labs everything works perfect and I guess again a quick view from top in order for you to be able to figure it out as I mentioned this is 4 inch just regular plumbing pipe uh, which is shown in the video and now I'm gonna show you how the complete cup looks like with the epoxy and everything else so you should be able to get the idea where all the sensor wires are going and what's going on there okay and to finalize this video here is how the cup looks like uh, you can see these two wires are for the water bubbler sensor here there is a small piece of metal going inside the bubbler and this as I mentioned before the yellow one is uh, the tube in the bubbler, the pipe this is the sensor for the level here I got the sensor this is analog sensor which is gonna fit into sorry this tube and you can measure the temperature inside the chamber and here is the thermal cutoff sensor which is gonna cut off about 100 degree temperature that's it for now goodbye have a nice day talk to you soon bye bye okay with the explosion cups you got uh, two options one is just a regular cup with a tube which goes on top and if there is explosion in the bubbler it's just gonna pop out pop out uh, the other cup is a little bit more complicated and got two inputs and comes on top of it um, either way both of them works uh, for me the rubber cup with a small tube is more convenient but the other one is gonna work too it's uh, made from rubber it's one input, second input or output, whatever you want to use it for. For more info, you can go to hhostop.com. Uh, you can see other products there. It's hhostop.com, of course, www.